Speaking of people who are or are not qualified to offer crit- constructive criticism, Anthony Edwards, who we love and support, uh, stepped out and said that the only skilled basketball player of his era and generation was Michael Jordan. And uh, I haven't seen someone make Magic Johnson take the the corporate face off in a minute, but he got under Magic's skin with that comment because Magic came out <laughs> and it was no jokey joke smiling magic johnson it was this motherfucker's not qualified to talk about me or <laughs> or anyone else in my generation uh what did y'all think of the exchange and uh does it hurt seeing ant be super wrong uh on such a, a big scale yeah i mean i ain't mad at ant because sure. you you can tell that it's not from a place of, of maliciousness it's just ant being ant being a young kid who's you know, not hip to that era. Um, he flat out <laughs> said, I haven't watched a lot of hoops from that era, but I know MJ was like the only skilled one. And I'm like, okay, well, that those two don't correlate there. But I mean, I, I like Magic finally, you know, taking that route because it's just, it's just like, like, you know, it's, it's a continuing thing that we have to exalt MJ by putting everyone else down from his era. Right. And that's just, no, no magic Johnson, bro. To me, he is the hands down fourth greatest basketball player of all time. Like I firmly believe that there's the goat tier where it's MJ Kareem and Braun. They're on the goat tier. The tier directly under them is magic Johnson. He's on that motherfucker by himself. Then it's everyone else, bro. Like, look, Magic Johnson in 12 years was a 12-time All-Star, went to nine finals in 12 years, won five rings. From when he was 17 to 20, he went on this run. He won states. He won Mr. Basketball Michigan. He won a college championship. He won most outstanding player of the Final Four. He and uh, he won finals MVP his rookie season and gave us one of the most impressive closeout games in finals history as a rookie. Game six, when Kareem was out and he had to play center, had 42, 15, and 7. And he accomplished all that from when he was 17 to 20, right? Like, Magic it was is, is a super incredible basketball player i think we, we might be at the point where we're underestimating a little bit because you know steph is for sure yeah because because we, we had the discussion where people were saying steph was better i was like nah steph is hands down the second best point guard ever but nobody's touching magic in regards to that like i said i think he's the fourth greatest basketball player of all time so i see why magic had to let you know remind motherfuckers like like nah if shit was real and i was one of them ones and and i'm not gonna stand on you you stand for you you know disrespecting my era so i ain't mad at magic I mean, I feel like, you know, Magic don't get the love he deserves. And I feel like he probably realized that when Steph was like, he's the GOAT, and people were actually arguing whether Magic was better than Steph or not. Steph's supposed to say he's better, of course. You know what I'm saying? Say you're better. But, like, if we looking at, like, you know, careers, it's it's very obvious who's a better point guard. You know what I'm saying? Magic is a better point guard. You feel me? So I think this could have been a residual. Like, you know what I'm saying? We're like, you know, of, of what Steph said, we're like, okay, okay, y'all kind of tweaking. Do you remember who the fuck I am? And then this, and then like Ant saying this shit on some like, Matt, MJ was the only like, nigga, look at the resume, my nigga. Look at, you know what I'm saying? Look at how I, and also look at how I played, not just the resume, because he could have been good amongst bums. This nigga was a great basketball player. You know what I'm saying? He played the position in a way we had never seen anybody play the position before him. You feel me? So, I don't, I don't, I mean, I, I mean, this is, I, I feel like he doesn't get the love he deserves. And maybe at this point, he's thinking that, like, yo, man, y'all forget who the fuck I really am. I was really him, you know what I'm saying? So I, I get it, man. I, I mean, just but think, I do feel like I feel Ant didn't stay, like, he didn't say it with his nuts. You know what I mean? He didn't, you know, he, he, he just was like making a flipping comment. And Magic's like, I'm not the nigga to be flipping with. Be flipping with these other motherfuckers, but don't play with my name. You feel me? And I respect that. You know what I mean? I feel like Magic Johnson and Larry Bird both have gotten just consistently underrated over the in the last five to ten years as Steph has been amazing and Kevin Durant has been amazing. Everyone's like, oh, those two guys are this generation's version of Magic and Bird, and they're and everyone's saying they're better. Or a lot of people you are think saying KD's better. better than Bird. And like I do. I do. Right, sure. But like of even course. so, like Larry Larry Bird. Larry Bird was top was let, either yeah. first or second in MVP six straight seasons. Six he guy. had I think Larry Bird's the third best small forward. He, ever. he had multiple yeah. 50, 40, yeah, 90 seasons in that era yeah, yeah. when 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 no one even really was that cared. Created for him? He Wasn't invented. Created for him? Yeah, yeah. He basically yeah, yeah. invented three point shooting and had 50, 40, 90 seasons. Yeah. multiple of them. Like he was he he won three straight MVPs. Like there's a lot of these guys from that era. I feel like are getting underrated because it doesn't. 
because the skill and the athleticism is so well, I think there's a, there's a couple other things. One is Magic in particular suffers from being famous at a lot of things at this point. I mean, right. he's as, I, I think to the average younger person, he's as famous for being a business person or he's for basketball being snoop, in, basically, right? A hundred percent. And I think it's a very similar thing where like, you know, you talk to kids in middle school and stuff. Do they know how raw early Snoop was as a rapper? No, Probably he's a yeah, he's yeah. a totemic symbol of a genre of things or something. I, I think you hit that on the head. But it's 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 interesting you bring up Snoop because I was going to say I think this Anthony Edwards thing reminds me very much of uh, when Vince Staples, where people were upset at Vince for, oh, you're you're supposed to be a rapper, but you don't understand the true legacy of Tupac or, you know, rappers mm -hmm. from the 80s or something. And Vince Staples' response was like, I'm young. Mm -hmm. I'm not an old fucking person like you. And I, like, <laughs> I, I think it's, it's something very similar with uh, Ant. Like, uh, Michael Jordan, we think of still as a recent era of basketball. Michael Jordan's career was over when Anthony Edwards was born. Mad him talking about Michael Jordan would be the same as us talking about basketball players born in the early 1950s when we were kids. So like it, it, it's, but because of the continuity of the media narratives and the goat versus whatever you expect there to be this like familiarity, but it's like, why would he know about basketball in the eighties? You know, like I don't, I, I, you don't expect people to really sit down and become students. I don't expect young people to sit down and become students when we're making them multimillionaires when they're 18, you know, also the yeah. game has changed so much. You know what I mean? Like, what does he really gain by going and watching these games currently? There's certain players that, like, you could take a, a piece of their game. You know what I'm saying? But the game has changed so much. So it's not as as relevant, like, 80s basketball, for him to sit down and, like, be a student of that. For what? You're not going to take much of that, game, of that, of that you know, era and bring it into this era of basketball. It's just so different now. And I, I also think that in these basketball discussions, too much of a premium is placed on athleticism. Um... I think that you can for sure probably make the case that MJ was perhaps the most athletic player in the league during his era. Um, the best mid-air adjuster we've ever seen in the sport, right? Just a phenomenal athlete. But, bro, like you're like, Ant, you are playing in today's NBA when two of the three best players in the world are some chubby dudes from Eastern Europe with lunch lady arms. Like, like, like we put way too much of a premium on athleticism. If you can play basketball, you can play basketball, bro. Like, that's why I never bought into those knocks that that Magic and, and Larry Bird weren't super athletes and they wouldn't thrive in today's era. No, if because. I think that's a reason why they would thrive in today's era because they've got that fucking supercomputer brain, right. a basketball brain where, where, where they can work past those limitations, right? Like it, like I said, if you, if you see Jokic and fucking Luka out here killing, why wouldn't you think Magic and Bird would kill? Right. You don't think Magic would be considered an athlete? This, I mean, like, not Magic in the 80s, but Magic in the 80s was an athlete. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was tall. He, he wasn't. He he, he, he didn't have. He many, didn't have the, you seen Magic Dunk, bro? He didn't have the vertical the athleticism that yeah. you expect people yeah. now to have. Yeah, yeah. I mean, now I think he would have. But, but that's but that's what he's that, talking in that about. Era was, yeah. In that era, he wasn't considered athletic. Mm -mm. No, he was considered an anomaly because of six nine point guard. But no one, no one considered him a super athlete. No, I know. He, I mean, he wasn't Dominique or nothing. But yeah, but I think the the um. It, I don't know. All this this stuff always happens on the cross generational thing. It is what it is, but yeah, like Magic and Bird, I think kids now feel like Michael Jordan invented the NBA, and it's like, well, Magic and Bird are the one. Everyone got paid off Magic and Bird, it. right? Right. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I don't hold it against. I think I'm, both I'm, of I don't hold it exactly against who were there in this era. Yeah, I think those are the, those, well, when you get to the top ten all time, top fifteen. I don't think era matters. You know, what right? I'm saying? I, I, think I, about I agree. guys that are in the. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I, I feel like. If there was a league above the league, they'd be good at that league. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I just feel like when we get to, uh, yeah, but I just, I but, just, but, uh, but, the, but that's, that's like, I'm like when really, people, yeah. when people are like, oh, they couldn't shoot the three. Well, it's like they didn't shoot the three because they weren't practicing shooting the three, but they were, they got the, they were the best in the world at the thing everyone what was, was practicing. Available to we had the appetizer last week. Now it's time to feast. College football is back. Don't miss any of the action. Jump in at DraftKings Sportsbook. It's a full slate of games for week one, including the big matchup in Atlanta between the preseason number one and number 16. Enjoy the ride now all the way through the expanded playoffs. You know we're always watching how Coach Prime in Colorado are doing. 
Interesting first game right now. They are about 9.5 favorites against North Dakota State this weekend. Plus, all newbies getting into the college spirit. Here's something extra special. New DraftKings customers bet $5 to get $200 in bonus bets instantly. Score big with DraftKings all college football season long. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use code Jenkins. That's code Jenkins, J-E-N-K-I-N-S, for new customers to get $200 in bonus bets when you bet just 5 bucks. Only on DraftKings. The crown is yours. 